Hi everyone, my name is Tasha and today I am doing my July wrap up. The first book I read this month was Remember Me by Sophie Kinsella. I actually don't remember a lot about this book. I mean, I know what it was about and my general thoughts, but I can't talk a lot about it because it wasn't a very memorable book but I do know that I enjoyed it. It was hilarious, just a typical Sophie Kinsella book, and I gave it three stars. The next book I read was actually a review book, and that was A Fairy's Revenge by Rachel Morgan. This is the sixth installment in the Creepy Hollow series. Every three books features a different main character and a different story arc, and this was the finale to the second trilogy part in this whole series, if that makes any sense. So I can't really talk a lot about what this book was about because it was the last book like in this story arc. What I can say about it is that I was actually a little bit disappointed with it. It was exciting at parts and I was emotional at other parts and I did enjoy myself reading it, but compared to the other books in this series and considering that it was a finale in those sorts, I was a bit disappointed. There was something, I don't, I'm not quite sure what it was, but something was just missing for me. Also, a lot of parts were very predictable in my opinion, so unfortunately I could only give this book 3.5 stars. Nonetheless, I'm still very excited for the next three installments in this series, which will feature a new main character, and I can't wait to find out who it is. At this point of the month, I was kind of struggling with my reading. I, I found it very difficult to just find the time and actually immerse myself into a book, so I wanted something short. And I picked up Kindred Spirits by Rainbow Rowell. This is a short story that she released for the World Book Day in the UK. This book is about Elena. She's a massive Star Wars fan and she's planning to camp out in front of the cinema for the new movie that is coming out. I actually quite enjoyed this book. I gave it four stars. Even though I'm not a Star Wars fan, I still enjoyed this book, especially points made about nerd culture in general because I do, I hate the word nerd, but I was able to relate to a lot of things that were said about it. Even though I really really enjoyed this book and I gave it four stars, obviously I wanted so much more because it was only like 60 pages. Then I actually DNF'd a book. Even though I felt a little bit bad, it also felt so good to finally say I'm not gonna finish this book, it's just not working out. That book is The Many Selves of Catherine North by Emma Jean. I actually requested this book on NetGalley, which is why I felt really bad to DNF it, but I've been reading this since May, and I only got like 28% in. Yeah, I DNF'd it at 28%. I tried so many times and I just could not get into it. Didn't like the characters, I didn't like the writing, the story didn't really grip me, even though the premise sounded kind of interesting, but it just was not a book for me. In case anyone is wondering, this is a science fiction book in which there are certain people that can take over the bodies of animals. That's how I understood it. We start off with the main character. I don't even remember her name, I'm sorry. And she is in the body of a fox and they do this to research animals and find out more about them and the way they think and that's what I gathered from what I've read up until then. But this was not a book for me. It does have quite a few good reviews on Goodreads, so maybe someone else would enjoy this book a lot more. Next, I read The Vile Village by Lemony Snicket. This is book seven in the series of unfortunate events. I don't have a lot to say about this book, except I'm still liking where the story is going. I said this in my June wrap up, in which I read the previous two books. And I really enjoyed book six because I liked where the story was heading and I still feel the same way about this book. In this book, the three orphans, Violet, Klaus, and Klaus, Klaus, and Sunny are being raised by an entire village. And it sounds so ridiculous. And they're not even raising them, they're, they just adopted them or taking care of them so the kids can do everyone's chores. I'm finding myself enjoying these books more and more like where the overall story is heading. Nonetheless, I only gave this three stars. I am really enjoying it. And then I continued on with book eight, The Hostile Hospital. And again, I'm things are getting so interesting right now. I even started putting post-its in, you can't see them because they're like bright yellow, but I even started putting post-its in there because 
I can see things tying together and things are happening in a way that I do not expect them to happen at all. Then I read another Sophie Kinsella book and that was Can You Keep a Secret? This was actually a buddy read with Julia from Julia Talks Too Much. I will link her channel down below. Can You Keep a Secret? Definitely my favorite Sophie Kinsella book. I enjoyed it so much. It was hilarious, it was swoon worthy, and even though it was quite cliche at parts and predictable, because now that I've read a few Sophie Kinsella books, I can see that she has like certain patterns that she goes with with her characters and the way and the way the story progresses, but it was still so enjoyable. And obviously, the stories aren't the same, but you can expect you can kind of expect what happens. Nonetheless, I loved this book so much and I gave it four stars. And the last book I read in the month of July is The Strange and Beautiful Sorrows of Ava Lavender by Leslie Walton. So this book is just what the title says. It is very strange. There were parts in this book where I wasn't even sure what was happening, but it was still so beautiful and also heartbreaking, but kind of in a good way, I guess. This book was written so beautifully, very whimsical. In this book we follow Ava Lavender. She was born with wings and no one really knows why. And the story actually starts with her grandmother growing up and then her mother being born and her mother growing up and then obviously Ava Lavender being born. I'm not even sure what to say about this book because I'm not entirely sure what actually happened all the time. And especially the ending, I was so confused, but oh, so many feels. I actually threw my book across the room at the ending and I had to message knock about what happened because I wasn't sure if it actually ended the way I thought it ended. If you like strange and whimsical stories, I definitely recommend this one. The writing and the way the story was told actually kind of reminded me of The Raven Cycle. Not that the writing style is the same or the story, but just the way the story and the words made you feel. Like I said, I was quite confused a lot of times and wasn't sure what was happening and that's how I felt about the Raven Cycle. Oh, also I gave this four stars. I think I gave it four stars. <laughs> so that was everything I read in the month of July. Tell me down below your favorite book that you read in the month of July. I would love to know. And that was it for this video and I will see you next time. Bye!